everybody, it is me Grace and today I'm going to be doing my Danielle Nicole bag collection video. So I already did a lounge fight collection and I remember I had a few comments where I showed you guys where I stored all of those saying like, oh you forgot this bag or you forgot this bag. Not to worry, those are Danielle Nicole bags. If you're not familiar with Danielle Nicole, um, she makes lots of different types of Disney related or Harry Potter related or fandom related bags just like Loungefly does but she has a bit of a different style. I am so obsessed with Disney related bags or Harry Potter related bags or any sort of fandom that I can represent in my clothing. I just I absolutely adore. I have a lot less Daniel Nicole than I do Loungefly. They have a bit of a different style um, and different signatures but they are pretty similar so I would definitely recommend looking at both brands when you're looking for a cute park bag um, or if you're looking to grow your collection. I have two backpacks and three crossbody purses to talk about today so this is going to be a very quick little video but let's just get into all of these wonderful wonderful bags. The first one I have here is what the one that got me interested in Daniel Nicole. I saw this in some sort of like TikTok for park outfit ideas and I thought it was the cutest thing ever. Um, let me just show it to you. It is Happy, one of the dwarves from Snow White and Daniel Nicole does a lot of these types of crossbody purses where the little pouch is quite small. <laughs> This is a little bit sparkly and shimmery, which is really nice. So these types of purses are more just to like add to your outfit and be an accessory than to be very practical. Um, so a lot of people don't get these bags for that reason. But I think they're really fun to have if you're just going to bring your keys, your phone, and some cards and cash chapstick you can fit all that in there um but if you're going for a full day at the parks this is definitely not the move no anyway it's so so cute and so unique um i feel like people either hate or love this style of bag it's very different very unique so the next one that i have is very similar to to that bag it is dopey this is the first daniel nicole bag that i ever got i believe i asked for it for christmas and just so you guys know, you're going to have to find these on second-hand second hand seller sites. So I got both of these off of Mercari. And these two ones in particular are pretty rare. So you kind of have to check back every so often and see if someone new happens to put it up for sale. And that's how you're going to get lucky with some of these. But unfortunately, there's a lot of beautiful Daniel Nicole bags that have been released in the past and are discontinued and no one's really selling them anymore. So definitely keep an eye out. I feel like you'll be able to find this one and the happy one. They might just be a little bit expensive. Um, I was able to get a good deal on this, especially with Mercari. You can offer less than the price that's listed so that's normally what I do just to see if someone takes my offer and it always saves me some money these are seriously so cute and I know that it's a little bit silly that I have both of these dwarves but honestly I asked for this one for Christmas and I think I got the happy one for literally like 30 or 40 dollars plus shipping I think it was 30 dollars or so it was crazy and I was like I cannot pass up the happy one and dopey I got for Christmas so I'm excited to wear both of them and that's that the back of this one is kind of like a circle shape versus the pouch so that might be a little bit hard if you have a taller phone but mine's pretty small so it works out really well the last purse that I have is so beautiful I was so surprised that I was able to find it, it is this gorgeous Cinderella bag I just love the look on her face in this bag. I think I had this in a recent Disney haul on my channel. Um, the back is so glittery. This is not being sold very often. I was so lucky when I saw this and I got it for a great price. The one that you might find a little bit easier on eBay and Mercari is the Cinderella winking bag. I'll put it right here for you. Um, that one's selling a lot more often. This one is a little bit more rare, but I just think it's so beautiful and I feel so lucky that I was able to find it. A few more bags that are like this that I would love to add to my collection are the Pocahontas bag and any of the Prince bags in that collection. I do wish they had a Hercules one because 
I love all the princes that they chose, but it's not like I'm super connected to one of them in particular. Um, so, I don't know. I wish that there was like a Hercules one or more of the beast bags. There's a really cute beast bag that I really wanted to. But, like I said, it's really luck of the draw on whether you find on Mercari if someone's selling these for a good price. So you really have to keep checking back. The next two bags that I have are both backpacks and they're gonna be a little bit easier to find than these crossbody ones, so that's really good. Because if you like either of them, they'd be a lot easier to get your hands on. The first one that I have here is Hedwig and he's so cute and so soft. I absolutely love it. This is the only Harry Potter bag I have, which is such a crime because I have so many Disney bags and I love Harry Potter pretty equally to Disney. So there's a lot of Harry Potter bags that I would love to get. One that is by Daniel Nicole is the Gryffindor backpack. Oh, I love it so much. There's actually two different Gryffindor backpacks that I would love to get from her, but I only need one, so I need to choose. Anyway, this one is so, so, so fun. I love it so much. The only thing I don't like about this bag is because it's white, I would feel a little bit worried about bringing it to Universal just because there's a lot of water rides in Universal. I just, I don't know, I wouldn't want to mess it up. I think he's so, so cute though. So I feel like I would go maybe to City Walk with this instead of a park day. But I do absolutely love him and he's so soft. It's kind of like a drawstring bag design. Um, on the inside of all Daniel Nicole bags, is just her logo. I don't know if she does a fun inner lining for different types of bags. I've only seen her inner logo on mine so far. You can kind of see that it's just this material with her little, little logo. I don't know how well you guys can see that. The back of this one is a nice faux leather material. The straps are really nice as well. Very cute, um, will fit a lot more, in my opinion, than a Loungefly. Daniel Nicole bags, are, her backpacks are always a little bit bigger than Loungefly, which I think is really ironic because her crossbody purses fit nothing, and yet she makes her backpacks more practical. She makes her backpacks more practical than Loungefly. Loungefly, you can fit a lot of bags in, but she tends to have some side pockets and some it's a lot taller good for water bottles that type of thing all right guys we're gonna end with my favorite bag that i own and will, it'll probably always be my favorite bag lounge fly included it is so beautiful i brought it to magic kingdom on my most recent trip it is stunning you guys you guys probably already know what i'm talking about because i've posted a million pictures with it it is this absolutely beautiful cinderella carriage bag um you guys, this is so gorgeous. It came out pretty recently. The back is just a plain blue, all faux leather material. Um, one change that I did make on this bag is I switched out the keychain. So this keychain is one that I found at the parks that I switched out because I thought it looked better than the original one. It is so cute. I'm so obsessed with it some nice side pockets as well i absolutely love it i hope you guys enjoyed this little collection video if i get any daniel nicole bags in the future maybe i'll make an updated collection or a haul so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already because i post videos every sunday here on this channel um and let me know if you guys have any videos you want from me and i will definitely film them you can leave me a comment down below i would love to know thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys have a wonderful night bye